Hello guys, welcome back. This is Rob with Tech. This will be part three of your Ubuntu server series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a, a uh, network chair. Um, first of all, we're going to install the Samba service and ACLs. You don't need ACLs if you're not going to do very specific uh, file permissions, but uh, I'll go ahead and explain it. So sudo apt install ACLs and Samba. Now, if you didn't look at my old, uh, my part two video, uh, I'll show you basically if I do a df dash h, you're going to see that I have this mount here. I created this folder for slash data and I mounted that second hard drive there. I could do an ll and then in this data folder, I have another data folder and this is the folder that I'm going to be sharing right now. I have the permission set for my account, which is the main account for this uh, Ubuntu install. Uh, Robert, so the owner is Robert and the user is Robert. Um, so first of all, if you are just this, you're the only one using this, then you can just use the Robert account. Also, another thing that we need to do, we need to allow uh, through our firewall the Samba service. So sudo ufw the allow Samba. All right. Now the user, the password that you have on Linux for like in my case, Robert account, it's not going to be the same password. So you have to do a sudo SMB password WD dash ace. And then you have to give it the username. I'll just enter this right now. Now, like I said, we're going to end up sharing this data folder. So the other thing that we have to do is we do a sudo vim then etc samba and then smb.config you can do a shift g and it take you all the way down so i'm just going to go here where it's printed i'm going to do i for insert i just enter a couple of times i'm going to say this is data now in here we're going to do the we can do a comment first comment equals and then you're going to do like um, a data folder now for the path this is where you have specify which is the folder you want to uh, share this if you remember this is going to be data data for my case now we're going to do brow sable equals yes then we're going to do guest okay equals no they say if you don't want to use a password you can just leave this as uh guest if you don't want to like if you don't want you want anybody in anybody in your network to access it you're gonna go ahead and do guest okay you know actually this is guest okay you you're gonna have to if you don't want to use a password go ahead and put yes here but in my case i want to put a password so i'm gonna guest okay so i'm gonna say no to that now here's guest only equals no then read only make sure you put this no unless you want it to be read you want to do create mask equals zero seven five five then you're going to do exit colon wq basically we just need to restart our SMB service system we have to sudo system ctl restart uh, I think it's SMB okay yes now we can take go back do like a status right so it's up is running you can actually do a test parameter if I'm not that's frame Okay, here it says uh, load SMB config files, and this is uh, loaded. Okay, now this is basically the only thing that you have to do if you're doing a very simple uh, setup where you're the only person accessing it. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this. Now, in case that you want to add more people to this, what you can do is you can create a group, little user. I mean, group add, and let's just call it data share or data access. Let's call it. Now, what you can do then is remember that we shared that port slash data. 
Uh, so I'm going to do a ch our sudo ch own dash capital R. And then you're going to do your main account minus Robert, then colon. And you're going to specify data access. This is the folder or, or the group, right? That we're going to use. Now we're going to specify the path. I'm just going to do for slash data. Now what I just did there is if you do a D, I mean an, an LL for slash data or just I'm just going to do LL for slash and I'll grip it for data. You can see that now my permission access is Robert is the, the owner, but then the group owner or the, I mean the group access is data access. Now what you can do is you can add people to that group. So let's say that you wanted to add Robert. I mean, of course, Robert would work because the, Robert is the owner. But in case that you want to add people in there, you can do a, a sudo user mod and then you do capital, I mean, dash A, capital G, and then you're going to call the, the group. Then you're going to provide the account that you want to grant it access to. Now, if I do an ID Robert, you're going to see all the groups that this was part of. And then you can see in here the data access. So that's another way now. In, in, let's say you create like 10 accounts and you just want to give them access and you just throw them into this group and make sure you, I think you need to restart the SMB service and then that'll be it. But what if you want to be more granular where you want to give certain people access to like only read access and other people that you want to have um, read and write access. So that's when we can use ACLs. So I'm just going to clear the screen again. I guess this is a more complicated. I haven't showed you accessing the share itself just yet because I want to show you how the ACLs work. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another user. So sudo user add then dash M SMB user one. That's going to be our new user. Now we need to reset that password. So sudo SMB pass WD dash h smb user one and the password i'm just going to do something very generic just for this example right now i want to create two additional groups that are going to be used for our acls uh, so to do that we're going to do sudo group at and i guess we'll call data share read and then we'll create another one called data share full now I'm going to go ahead and assign with ACLs, uh, assign this access. So if we do set if F ACLs dash capital R dash M. Now you're going to do the quotations, then you're going to do G for group colon. Then you're going to do data share read. And then, I mean, that will be the group name. I'm going to do a colon and here you're going to specify the access. So you can do read. We'll do read and execute to Rx. Now in here, you're going to specify the path. So I'm going to do for slash data. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but for this one's going to be full. And then on this case, I'll read, write and execute. So this is going to be that there. All right. So we have set up the, the ACLs. Now we need to check. We haven't assigned any access to this. We can do to this other user, the SMB user one. So we do ID and then you check SMB user one. You're going to see that we don't have any assigned group that would grant it access. And for this example, we're going to do sudo user mod. User mod and dash a capital G and then we're going to call data share. You can just tab and then I'm going to give it the read access so we can show you what it does. Uh, so sudo user mod, and then we're going to specify the user. Now if we do the ID command again. You're going to see that now we pertain or we are in the data share read. Now, another thing that once we implement this, we need to change the configuration for the SMB config. Uh, to do that, sudo, and we're going to do vim etc samba smb.config. Now in here, we're going to add a couple more uh, parameters. So I'm just going to go ahead and do insert and I'm going to say. I'm going to say uh, force 
user equals Robert. So this would be the owner. Now, anybody that creates a file will automatically set Robert as the owner. You don't have to do this, but that's the way I'm going to set it up. Now, the path, I can say the same. Brossable is the same. This read only is fine. Now, we can we have to do inherit ACLs equals yes. Now, we also need to do inherit permissions equals yes. Now, we need to do, so we have the create masks. We can do the force create mode a seven five five you can be a little bit more specific in the axis here we can do like uh, six six four that would say it is read and execute I'm not mistaken we'll just leave it at seven five five so that's gonna be full access for um, but I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be using the ACLs where we're explicitly saying what they're going to be. So we'll leave that like that. And then force directory masks equals 0755. Now we can also do read list equals and then here you're going to do an at sign this is where you're going to add the name of the group so read list is only going to be for read only now if you have if you want to provide a, a username like you don't want to provide a group you can just go ahead and add it here without the at sign so i'm going to do the write list i know it's a lot of parameters but this will make sense in a little bit so in this write list you can do like in this case you can do robert but I mean, we don't need to put it in here. Oh yeah, I, I would have to put it because I haven't added my account to the ACL. Oh, actually it might work because it's the owner. So I'm going to go ahead and add the other one out, data, share, and then we'll call it all. Okay, so now that should be it. So we do escape colon WQ. And now we do a pseudo system CTL restart smb or i guess we can do a test parameter well i think a test parameter okay so it, it's the it, it, we don't have any syntax issues so okay now here's where i want to show you so i'm going to cd into that data and then data again now in here i have I guess uh, that test.txt. So I'm, I'm going to remove that. Do LL. Okay, so we don't have that. So I'm going to create a vim test.txt. This is a brand new file. And I'm just going to say, I'm just going to put test. And then I'll save it. Now we look at the permissions right now. We can see that it, it ended up adding the file as Robert. Robert. So. Since we're going to use the SMB user one, so remember we do ID SMB user one, and we can see that the only access that this SMB user one has is the data share read. So we would be able to read the test uh, file, but we're not going to be able to create or do anything because we are part of the data share read folder. Uh, so I'm just going to pull up the, I'm just going to go ahead and load up into the, the data share. Okay, so here I just did the backslash backslash and then the IP address of my of my Ubuntu server. Um, so I'm going to do remember the user SMB user one password. This is my generic password that I created. Now, so to access it, you're just going to do backslash backslash and then the IP address of your Ubuntu server and then whatever the path was. So here, remember, we got that test file. So you can see that that the we are able to view it, but if we make a change to it, we're not able to save it. See how it is prompting to do something to do to do another file. Now, if we go in here, I'm not 
I said do not save and we try to go ahead and create another one like another text file it's not going to let you because remember we had specified that the SMB user one was only going to have read access to it so that's what that means now we're going to go ahead and, and switch it out from that is from that data share read folder and we're going to put it into the data share pool so we go back here and we do a sudo and then you do a user mod dash r capital g and then you call the group data or was it a data share data share read and then we're gonna do smb user one you're gonna do an id uh, smb user one you're gonna see that the group is no longer there now we're gonna do a sudo user user mod dash a capital g and then we're gonna do data share but we're gonna do full this time and then we're gonna call smb user one if we do the id command again we should see it's there i think we need to restart the smb service but let's find out okay yeah, it's not gonna work yet so the to fix it we just need to restart the smb service so if you remember sudo smb i mean not it's not the smb sudo system ctl restart smb now that should automatic grant us access now so now that we are part of the full access we should be able to do new and create so we can create a new file smb user and we should be able to modify edit the anything that is in there because we're part of of that user so let's say test file and then we can do a save you can see that it created it now we can go in this one which was our test one and then we can just append anything to it see that now we have access so i want to show you what happens to the permissions uh in the actual directory so if we do an ll we have the smb users is the the text file that we created with the smb user now we have the test.txt this is the one that we created on the terminal so if you see like in the one that you created with the robert account which was the test.txt it's going to show the owner robert robert but in the case for like the smb user this one we created it oh, i misspelled it this one we cre recreate we created it uh, within the SMB share. So what happens is it acquires this plus sign. Now you can check if you do like a get FACL and then SMB user, you're going to see that it tells you here that this particular file, and you can do this for folders also. This is the permission that it has read and execute for read and data share full. Uh, that's that's uh, if, if like in this case that data share Oh, that's because the SMB user was added on that. Now, another thing that you might have noticed is that it's like Robert, Robert, as far as the account goes. And this is because we used uh, the force user, Robert. So it's created them like that. But that'll be all for this video. I guess um, you have any questions regarding this? I mean, this is just touching the surface on ACLs. Um, I just thought that I would share a little bit of how this grouping works. Uh, but uh, if you guys have any questions, drop it down in the comments. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe. On uh, part four, I'm going to show you how we can use or leverage this installation where we have Pertainer installed and how we can use my GitHub. I have a couple of YAML files, how we can modify them and get different services installed. So stick around. Thank you.